So I'm going to discuss something known as a food chain. Now, a food chain always starts with something known as a producer. And I draw the little arrow telling me that this producer, which is going to photosynthesize, so all producers photosynthesize, they are what starts the whole um, food chain. This producer is going to get eaten by something else. And that's going to get eaten by something known as a primary consumer. Now, a primary consumer is a herbivore. So this just eats vegetation. And this primary consumer then gets eaten by something else. So I'm going to draw an arrow showing that it's going to get eaten by something else. And we call it a secondary consumer. Now, a secondary consumer is mainly going to eat meat, but it could also eat some vegetation. And this could go even further. So it could go to tertiary, and then it could go to quantry. Okay, so it could keep on going up levels. Now, the one at the top, so the, the one at the very end, it could be the secondary consumer. If this secondary consumer could get eaten by a tertiary consumer, but whatever's at the end, that is known as the apex predator that that is the top of the food chain now prey is the thing and uh, the animals that get eaten predators are the ones that eat the prey scavengers are what eat dead organisms and what a food chain is showing is the energy transfer now as the energy is getting transferred it's being lost um usually i believe around about 90 percent of the energy is being lost so it's lost as heat excretion making bones blah 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 dead organisms but i'm gonna go through that later on but this just shows you a simplified way of um the energy transfer now, this is a linear relationship. There's no, there's no branches to this relationship. The, there are ones that have branches and they are a bit more complex. 